My name is James Strawbridge and I'm the development chef and salt sommelier for Cornish Sea Salt. What is a salt sommelier? Well basically I pair different types of sea salt, that could be a flake for finishing, a crystal, multi-purpose sort of our, our original sea salt, or a fine salt and I match it with different sorts of food. I also go one further and use our flavoured range of sea salts and pair them with various dishes. But this isn't just savoury food, it's also desserts and puddings. At the moment we're working on a collaboration with Potts & Co. And what that involves is taking a dessert such as their best-selling salt caramel chocolate ganache and coming up with a dish that works in harmony from start to finish. For that one what I've decided to do is use a luxury salt and peppery sea salt and a good old steak and chips kind of concept. But instead of just normal meat and two veg, we're doing Hasselback sweet potatoes. That sweetness pairs with the lovely sort of uh, dessert which you'll have later on. And then the steak, which is done medium rare and finished with sea salt. On the side, some buttered greens, which are a little bit of rosemary and again, sea salt just to season it. That sort of a concept of looking from start to finish when you're building a dish is something we apply to all of our different salts when we're working with food service customers and with the public. In restaurants, chefs love to have something special to season their food, and that's what Cornish Sea Salt does so well. For Pots & Co, we're also looking at the rhubarb and custard pot, one of my personal favourites. So for that, I've come up with a dish which is mackerel that we cure in some sea salt, and then serve on top of a pikelet, which is basically a sort of a posh crumpet, um, with a little bit of beetroot hummus and some samphire. For me, that needs the umami salt, which is a beautiful savoury seasoning made of seaweed from Cornwall. Um, when you then get onto your dessert with that sort of sweet, sharp, creamy pudding with the rhubarb flavour, it works very well with the pickle sweetness um, that you're getting from the cure for the fish. So it's a very um, elaborative process trying to pair things as a salt sommelier, but the best part about my job is it's great fun thinking about how you season and cook with salt in order to pair the flavours from your starter to your main course and finally onto your dessert.